Hi, I'm John Pickens. Mr. John, my friends call me. I hope everybody is staying happy and healthy out there. You know, I love reading. You can read just for fun, or like today, we're going to read to learn something. And it's amazing to me because if you can read, you can learn about anything. So today we're going to learn about um, sea turtles, loggerhead turtles. We have some of those around here, and they are extremely cool animals from what I read about them. The book is titled One Tiny Turtle, and it's just about, uh, it's just about what every turtle goes through, and this is just one of them. Here's kind of an in general bit of information about turtles. Sea turtles are related to tortoises and terrapins. They're all reptiles. Sea turtles are great wanderers. They travel thousands of miles each, each year, often very far from land, which makes them difficult to study, so scientists are only just beginning to find out about their mysterious lives. There are seven species of sea turtles, this book is about loggerhead turtles. Loggerheads live in all the seas all over the world. So we're going to learn about turtles. So kind of comprehension is what this is all about. And um, at the end, we should know more stuff. Far, far out to sea, land is only a memory. An empty sky touches the water just beneath the surface is a tangle of weed and driftwood where tiny creatures cling. This is the nursery of a sea turtle. Passing in a boat, you might not notice turtles. Not much bigger than a bottle top. She hides in the green shadows. She's a baby, so her shell is soft as old leather. Just a little fish bite could rip it open. But the turtle's safe in her world of weed and snaps her beak on tiny crabs and shrimps. So baby turtles live far out to sea in, um, in a nursery of seaweed and driftwood. So that kind of keeps them hidden. And they eat tiny crabs and shrimps. Turtles have shells that cover their backs and shells that cover their stomachs. The shells are made from bony plates that get bigger and harder as the turtle grows. The turtle swims around, flapping her long front flippers like wings. She's flying underwater. She pokes her pinprick nostrils through the silver surface to take a quick breath so fast, blink, and you'd miss it. Then she's gone, diving down into her secret life again. Fish breathe underwater, but turtles are reptiles and they need to come up to the surface for air. They do this every four to five minutes when they're active. When they're asleep, they can stay underwater for hours. That's pretty fun. For three or four years, maybe more, the turtle rides out the storms and floats through the hot calms steadily she outgrows her nursery. So for three or four years, she is um, living out there among the seaweed in this nursery. Nobody sees her leave, but when you look for her, she's vanished all the same. A year or two later, she turns up close to land, bigger than a dinner plate now. She's not a fish snack anymore. Her shell is hard as armor, her head is tough as a helmet, She's grown into her name, Loggerhead. She's come to eat crabs. Millions swim up from deep water to breed in the shallows. Their shells crack as easily as hen's eggs in her heavy jaws. But in a week, the feast is over and Loggerhead disappears again. Loggerhead wanders far and wide in search of food. In summer, to cool seaweed jungles, where she finds juicy clams and shoals of shrimp. And in winter to tortoise lagoons, warm as a bath, where she can munch among the corals. 
Loggerheads may travel thousands of miles, but she leaves no trace or track for you to follow. Only good luck will catch you a glimpse of her. So that's why they're so hard to study and we know so little about them, is that they leave no trace and they travel a great distance. For 30 years, you might not find her. Then, one summer night, she arrives on a beach where she was born. She's found her way here, sensing north and south like a compass needle, feeling the current and the warmth of the waves. She remembers the taste of the water here and the sound of the surf. Male turtles wait just off the nesting beaches. They mate with the females. Then the females come ashore to lay their eggs. Loggerhead has grown in her wandering years. She's as big as a barrel now. Floating in the sea, she weighs nothing, but on land, she's heavier than a man. So every flipper step is a struggle. You know how with flippers, you can't walk, really. So you're just pulling yourself up on the beach. So that's what this poor, heavy loggerhead is doing. So every flipper step is a struggle, and her eyes stream with salty tears, which help keep them free of the sand. Coming ashore is very risky for sea turtles. They can easily overheat and die. So they only nest at night or in cool weather. Then they get back into the sea as soon as possible. Loggerhead makes her nest where the sea won't reach. So up above the tide line is where she uh, makes her nest. Scooping carefully with her hind flippers, so she's digging with her flippers, she makes a steep, deep hole. Inside that hole she lays her eggs like a hundred squidgely ping-pong balls. Afterwards she covers them with sand to hide the nest from hungry mouths. Then, loggerhead's gone again, back to her secret life in the sea. Left behind under the sand, her eggs stay deep and safe. Baby turtles grow inside those eggs. Females, female adult loggerheads, stay close to their nesting beach for several months. And in that time, they usually make at least four nests, and sometimes as many as ten. So each female loggerhead lays a lot of eggs. And before the summer's over, they wriggle from their shells. The baby loggerheads wriggle from their shells. Turtle eggs in warm sand can be ready to hatch in six weeks. If the sand's cool, they can take three weeks longer. So when these turtles just hatch, they're on land and they're very exposed to dangerous uh, people who want to eat them. So above these baby turtles on the beach, a hundred eyes watch, on the lookout for a meal. So the hatchlings wait until night. Then they burst through the sand and skitter toward the sea. The horizon, where the sea meets the sky, tells the baby turtles which way to turn to get to the water. But street lights and buildings next to the beach can confuse them and make them go the wrong way and that's bad. In the dark, claws and beaks and grabbing paws miss only one young turtle from this bunch of eggs that the mother loggerhead has laid. One day this one young turtle will remember this beach and come back. But now she dives under the waves and swims, and swims and swims out into the arms of the ocean, far, far out to sea. Land becomes a memory waiting to wake in the head of the little turtle. So that's kind of the life cycle of these little turtles. They, um, obviously very small when they hatch, they go out and spend, how long was it? four years in their nursery out in the seaweed and they migrate in the cooler months to lagoons 
and in the warmer months to just the open ocean. So there you go. I hope you learned something about turtles today. They are extremely cool animals. Good luck out there. Read some books.